Hello and welcome back to Diesel Rail Car Simulator. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Now, last time out, I finished my first impressions, I believe, and I haven't played the game since, or I have actually tried to play the, uh, the title since. I tried to record a video with a Class 03, but I seem to have some problems with a clash of keyboard uh, key bindings. So I was trying to do one thing and it was tr doing three things at once, which was, for example, knocking me out of gear whilst I was trying to move to the left or something. And then it was causing all sorts of havoc and that video was a complete disaster. Uh, that being said, I also tried out the Class 03 and uh, I was not really keen on it. Um, I think that of the three trains, that is probably the three locomotives. That is the one that needs the most work. So I'm going to stay away from the Class 03 for for a little uh, for a little while, and then perhaps at a later date I shall have a look at it. But trying to get used to driving in in this title, I'm going to continue today with the with a class uh one what is this a one two one is that is that what it is semi fast down one two one i think this is a class one twelve uh one two one just must just be whatever whatever that is anyway we are taking this train and we are going to be going from haverford west down slow where we will be departing at six thirty seven uh oh six thirty seven over to Hatsford down at 0708. So this will be roughly half an hour, thereabouts, maybe a little bit longer. We are going to be passing New Mims, Upper Suddeno and Batsfield. Bats, Batsfield. And that is a really strange name. We will then be stopping at Evertenham. Then we will continue and we will pass uh, Tingson, Shawncoat and Warno Pelham. Oh, oh, and also passing Wade. So there we go. This is going to be our route. Nothing more to really say. Let's get started. Hopefully I can manage this properly and remember the gearing and all of my controls. Let's go. All right, here we are. Uh, first things first, check all of my brakes, make sure that everything is correctly going. Reverser is forward, neutral, backwards. Let's pop that into neutral, pop that down. I'm going to do this nice and quickly. Make sure that our gears are sorted. That is neutral. Throttles forward, backwards. We have about 30 seconds. Well, actually, we have a minute and a half. So I do not uh, do not have to worry all too much. We're going to press 8 and then F2 and F3 to get rid of, uh, to get rid of the uh, HUD. Just so that I can take a, a screenshot. There we go. At, at the station. Perfect, and then press one again. I have uh, rebound the keys, so everything should work properly now. And I suppose we, I should really um, start the engine. So let's go ahead and start our engines. So key goes in. There we go. And that's the two engines. Brake handle, I will bring the brake to, let's have the brake actually applied a little, there we go, put this into forward, there's the buzzer, so I'll do that, pop this into gear, release the brakes, and off we go. This is, I, I have to say that this title is really good. It, it is a really in-depth title. And I think that there is a, a lot to potentially come with this title. Uh, whoops. There we go. Very easy to speed in this train. 
so that is immediately going to dock me some points but hey that is okay just waiting for the 25 miles per hour uh, obviously we have passed it but the rest of the train has to so I'm assuming probably as we get over this bridge we should be clear into the 25 signal is showing clear and we shall now begin our acceleration to 25 miles per hour we do have a red aspect uh, further up but I'm not entirely sure where that is yet so I am going to be a little careful as we as we do this can I look around like that and potentially take another screenshot aspect is green so let's go ahead and accelerate. So I think second gear takes us to 27 miles per hour, is it? Third gear will take us up to uh, 40 or 41. I believe we're about to head into a 25 though, so I shall have to be aware of that. Hit the horn. And I am just going to ease up on the throttles as we need to now be on the brakes to get into the 25 that we're about to hit there's the 25 he's off we are good to go I will put that into second gear and that was I, I would say somewhat smooth uh, I did I slowed down a, perhaps a little too much but overall that did not go too badly obviously learning the tracks and learning more about where to more about the train and where to where to break will be will be important as, as time goes on but for now the the HUD display the helpers it's all there and of course there is more available i just do not have it on because i do not need the extra bit but if you are even newer than i am to to this sort of uh, setup then i would i would actually put on the additional key helpers for example watching that red signal up ahead can I see it? Oh, my signal appears clear so yeah my, my signal is clear, there we go so up to 41 in this gear and then we'll knock it into 4th although at the moment we're just going to sit at 40 just wait until the 50 coming up very very easy journey I would say um, let me do another perhaps outside view yeah, that is not the view I wanted it's probably this one is that the one? to go into a 50 so just looking for a potential screenshot there we go that will do nicely 
and I think I will now accelerate up to 50 as not to waste too much more time. Straight back up to maximum power. Now I am actually using um, my flight controls to to um, drive the train. So I have a one lever, which would normally be my engine throttles, is is my throttle lever. My second engine throttle is my gears. My prop lever, uh, the first prop lever, is reverser second prop lever is handbrake so that is not um, necessary the first mixture lever is uh, engine brake the second lever is uh, the train brake why is this train not slowing down the way I want it to come on there we go that will do nicely Just uh, a slow corner, that was all. And we appear to be on time, passing uh, Upper Setting Up. Now we've got Batsfielden. And at this point we can, it looks like we can get all the way up to 60 miles per hour without any real worries. Uh, oh, this looks like a good opportunity for a for a screenshot. Just need to keep an eye on the signals up ahead, but I think this could look quite good. This isn't going to look very good. Okay, I need to be very aware of the signals in a moment. Uh, signals are fine, and I actually managed to uh, keep keep control of the speed, which was surprising. Just. Uh, Make sure that they are aware that there is a train coming. Lovely. Going past some of these these houses, signal box. Through the station we go. At uh, 56 miles per hour. I guess give it a little bit of throttle. And now we have about three minutes to run until uh, our first stop. This is a really good title. Uh, th there's something about this title that Trains in World 2, Trains in World did not have. I think maybe Train Simulator had. So the previous offering from Dovetail, Train Simulator Classic, I guess they call it now. I think that had it. But um, yes, there is something about this that is is not quite um, it, it is different to what other what other titles currently give I am going to have to slow down a bit since we are going to be heading into a 25 fairly soon and I'm not sure exactly where that 25 is. So I'm just going to just be on the brakes gently for now. There we go, we'll just lap them. It's about 26%. Actually, even drop them a little bit. That's the AWS giving me a clear. But we are, of course, heading into the 25. 
so we want to be a little bit more careful. Slow down a little bit more. I think I see where the 25 is. It's 32. There we go. And quite nicely done for the 25, actually. But we are stopping at uh, Eventon, so there's no point as accelerating up to. Uh, there's no point as accelerating up to speed because the station is right there. So we'll go ahead and pull into the station nicely. There we go. Oh, not into emergency. And I think we are stopping fairly nicely, we just want to stop at the end of the platform. Not there. Okay, well we've stopped at the wrong spot. That's okay. Um, I'm going to leave this in neutral. Where, where exactly have we stopped compa compared to the rest of the train? Well, we're still on the platform, we just really should have stopped further down the platform. I suppose that's a six car stop. We're not. We are only a four car, so. Maybe. Maybe we're. Maybe we are not as bad as. Uh, as it seems. Oh, that's a little bit awkward. So, what, we do have an opportunity here, though, for a really cool screenshot. So, I shall probably try to take one which side would be nicer there or from here I think from here would be nicer right let's pop it into first ready to go and I'll release the brakes And let's see what kind of screenshots I can I can actually take. Make sure we're okay with our speed. Yep. Actually, that's an, that's an even better screenshot. Why does backwards not work properly? There we go. Okay, on board we go, and let's start accelerating up. Back up to 60, and now we just have to run for uh, another few minutes. About nine more minutes of running. This, this is quite good. I know I've already done, as I said, two videos of this before, and certainly the the interior of the trains needs a lot of improvement, but the developers are on it. Uh, but just overall, as an early access title, this has a lot to offer. So between this and Derail Valley and Train Sim... I would say Train Simulator Classic, I'm, I'm still not keen on Train Sim World. It does have a lot to offer, particularly the lines where you've got to drive trains like these. So, for example, there's one that goes to um, uh, is it the Darlington area and uh, something by the sea. Th those, those sorts of areas, yes, it does, it does have a lot to offer, but this is a much... The tracks are much longer here. There's there's a lot more going on. The Train Sim World Two, uh, certainly I know Train Sim World Three is Three is out. Uh, train Train Sim World Two, um, you have the Bakerloo line, the, the 
the underground line, which is great, but as, as I said, I found many, many issues with it, which is a shame. Um, and if those issues were not there, then I think that the thing that Trains in World really does shine on, or would shine on, and certainly this, this title would be the same, would be commuter services, stopping services. With Trains in World, the express services are just not worth it, not long enough. Thank you. Clear aspect, which is what the AWS was also telling me. So we shall go ahead and continue. Obviously, if you really wanted to watch your speed, it's it's down here. But these are this is quite difficult to read. All of this is really difficult to read. I went through that without uh, pressing the horn. Uh, it looks like there's a level crossing coming though, so. Is it? No, there's no level crossing. I thought there was a level crossing just up ahead. But there may still be. I think this is one, right? There we go. Oh no, it's underneath. Never mind. The, the scenery, the world in here looks quite uh, believable. And one of the things that I did check is I had a look at the... Is it... Uh, the editor? Track editor, scenery editor, route editor, whatever you want to call it. In this title, this is quite impressive. It is very intuitive to lay down track. Scenery, not so much yet. I was very confused with, with the scenery, but laying down track and signals and all of that stuff. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. It's just the, the scenery is a problem. And trying to get... Well, less so laying down of assets and more so manipulating the terrain. That is where the problem is. I also have my flaps indication, uh, my flap lever, or flap lever, flaps buttons, rocker switch, as uh, my uh, my horn. So that's the high and low tones for the horn. But we do have another 25 coming up, so I shall have to be aware of that. And I think I'm going to ease off the throttle now. Start applying brakes. In fact, exactly when the target told me to. So I am going to do exactly that. And I think braking at that force, I think, is, is suitable. I know I'm a couple of miles per hour under target or above target, but I honestly think I should be okay. There you go. Perfectly all right. Knock it down the gear and continue as if nothing happened. Now I do have a problem, I think. I, I overslow the train down. So I do need to, to learn a bit with that. go I think we are I was going to say we are we are um, downhill here I could just about tell yep I am I am having to hold the brakes here we are definitely downhill but into the 40s is, is not going to be a problem we are now coming up to pass uh, Warner Pelham and then a few minutes time. Oh, it wasn't seven. Th it was seven or one. We were going to be. Um, let's put that into what? Or second gear. Second gear would do. And now we are about to go uphill. I thought it was seven or one that we were due at the next stop. It isn't. It's probably seven or eight. 
Yes, I think it may be 708. Now I am just going to put this into full power, but realistically I'm not going to increase above 30 here. I am going uphill, so this is that is making it difficult. We've got full power and we are not accelerating. So that is okay as we go around this corner. There we go. And we shall accelerate up to 60 as we enter and get about halfway through the station. So about now. Next gear, 27 I think is the maximum rated speed for a uh, second. Keep an eye out for any speed changes coming up. In fact, there is a speed change coming up. So we have a 40 coming up. But I think that I can probably accelerate to about 50 before easing off again on that. Certainly, I think we are... We are very good on time, so, which is a surprise. So I'm not really too worried about my speed. So there you go, I, I am just going to coast at, uh, I'm just going to coast at 50 and eventually slow it down to 240. And I think I'll slow it down now, just a tad. Nice gentle braking down to 40. Forty-five, forty-four. We're almost down. Happy with that. There we go. Probably leave it in fourth. Station coming up. Just ease through Wade. And next stop is the final stop for us, and that is Hatford. Let's keep the throttles probably 25 to 50 percent. Uh, one minute early for Wade. I, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. I would assume that we need to be on time, but if, we, if we're going through a station, it doesn't matter really if we're passing. It just gives us a little bit more leeway for the next uh, six minutes or so. Well, I think we're going to arrive at Hatsford at 7.07, .07, or thereabouts. So this should be fairly, fairly reasonable cruising. See, I, I think this scenery looks excellent. Oh, where, where's, where's the train? There it is. Oh, I'm not sure that took the one that's screenshots, but this one might. There we go. We were speeding a little, um, I think it's just because we are downhill, slightly downhill, and now we're about to go into an uphill, so I'll put that throttle back in. Excellent scenery, really. And here we go, we're, we are approaching, in fact, we are approaching Hatsford uh, very early. Two minutes to Hatsford. This is quite strict on speed, I would say. Very, very strict on speed. I mean, I know that generally you would be strict on speed, but for a train 
which does not have things like cruise control. I think that it, perhaps this is just a little bit too strict. Maybe if there was a way to put a, um, a, a leniency factor in. But I suppose that's the penalties for it. Okay, my next signal is red. So I am very much going to slow down. I know the uh, I know the rules. Slow down and be prepared to stop at the next signal if you cannot see it. Uh, that one is not mine. No, that one is mine, and it is red. Yep, there we go. So I am going to continue on the brakes. Oh, it's actually cleared up for us. So we will continue in to Hatsford. But uh, I can I can just ease it in. I'm currently doing 15 miles per hour. We're about to go into a 10. So I will just ease it in at the moment. Nothing more that needs to be done. I am very much just coasting. Probably touch the brakes a little as we as we get to the ten. So we are about to enter that ten and we are going slightly quickly. There we go. That's ten miles per hour. Oh this is a this place looks incredible. Where, what on earth is this place? Look at this. Oh, I need to stop my train, so I should probably be wary of that instead. As opposed to looking at the uh, looking at the sea. Just ease in right to the end. There we go. That will do. Oh, this is this is a very nice place. We are a minute early, but I am actually not going to complete the run just yet. I'm going to F2, F3. I want to take a a screenshot here of this place. This is different. There we go. And now I shall uh, press, oh, I don't know what button, button 14 is, so I'm just going to set my train uh, in a position where it should be, so uh, handbrake I suppose, pop the handbrake on as well, that is in neutral, there we go, good, I'll then press escape. Okay, and that is the end of that particular run. Um, my score was 6,990. Oh, so close to 7,000. 10,000 or more is considered a perfect run. So certainly not a perfect run. Uh, I exceeded the speed limit nine times. Uh, showing the station stopping time is uh, a minus two uh, again. I guess I could probably record or write down the station stopping times and then just work it out with, well, I need to know what time it is. So, uh, yeah, I would probably have to do that. Uh, my energy use was good. Um, 90%. No extra points for running early. Showing target speed, 10%. Maybe I, I could potentially start getting rid of that because I was very much not looking at that 
uh, anymore. In fact, you can you can probably tell from the target. The gray, gray line was the target, and I was certainly not really watching the targets. In fact, in fact, during that entire position or that entire run, that segment, I was well below target because I was running so early through all of this. So yes, this bit of speeding there, there, that was the downhill sections. Uh, slightly not paying attention. Was that there or there? Slightly not paying attention. Um, and then that was pretty much it. So yeah, not too bad. That, I think, is the end of that run. This was the Class 03 run that I attempted to do, uh, the disaster run. I think that in the next video, now, I, maybe I should just look at um, some of these. Look at these. What are these? I'm not, I'm not going to press them just yet, but... Okay, so you're just taking something from Haverford Depot to up west so that would be a simple run another one this is class 112 for that one again another simple run so these are just empty empty stock uh that you'd be you'd be hauling around that's pretty cool i think i am going to have to look at some of these as semi-fast services maybe maybe at some point i'll do this but this is going to be nearly an uh, what by the time I've done it all it'll probably be very close to two hours so maybe I need to find something a little less than that so we've done that one uh down so what's that one 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 eight this is one two one that's one one eight it's earlier in the morning I could potentially do something maybe like this one with the class one one seven I'll have to have a look, but for now, I am going to end this video. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Diesel Rail Car Simulator. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. If you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description box below for that. And also, you can find me on social media and Discord. All the links are in the description box below for all of those. That is all from me, and I shall see you next time in Diesel Railcar Simulator, where I'll do one of these runs. I mean, I do not want to do every single one that is exactly the same. So, for example, that one is probably the same as that one, just in the opposite direction. So I may do an opposite direction one, but not that one, then that one, then that one, then that one. Um, so I, I will have to have a look at at some of those and see what I can do perhaps I could do one of these these intercity runs where what are we doing we are oh actually with the intercity run we're we're just passing everything so maybe not that I shall have to have a look but anyway for now I shall end this video thank you very much once again and I shall see you next time